Hey everybody, this is Sage Lewis from the Search Engine Strategies Conference in San Jose 2008 and today I'm with Jason Glickman from Tremor Media. How's it going, Jason? Going well. Good, good. How are you enjoying the show? The show's great. Good, good. So uh, tell us a little bit about Tremor Media. What do you guys do? So Tremor is an online video ad network. We are the largest online video ad network. We represent about 800 publishers and we do only video. And so we represent video in banner in stream, which is pre-roll and overlay, we do video in games, video in widgets, and we currently represent about 104 million unique users on a monthly basis, and so we deliver video to those users in those formats, and we do that on a, on a dynamic basis. We have a technology called the Qdio, that's a patent pending ad insertion technology that enables the delivery of video into video content. Hmm, very interesting. So just make sure I understand you are, you're, you're representing actual video content out there and uh, it's your network, I suppose, and then people, advertisers, can come to you and buy uh, ad space on this content, is that right? Yep, so we have about 800 publishers, and we break down those publishers into different channels, so from health to travel to finance, entertainment, and we present those publishers in an aggregated way to advertisers and agencies, and they buy from us. We're able to target that effectively, so we manage media buys, and we do that on, on, on a very large scale. And so where an advertiser would likely want to place buys on certain publishers, we aggregate publishers and provide more than a billion available streams on a monthly basis. It's really being able to deliver television type buys and television type volume in the online audience, which is very, very rare right now. Hmm. Very interesting. And so does a person buy it by the publisher or by the category that it's in? So we do have a transparent site list. Uh, it's typically by channel, and we're, in, we're transparent that we let publishers and advertisers, everyone can see who's in the channel. And so advertisers can look at and, and exclude or include certain publishers in the channel, uh, but we, we sort of are very open. And you need to be very open when you're talking about branding advertisers. They're very sensitive about where their ads are going to appear, and so we protect their brand in every way possible. Hmm. Interesting. And is this typically uh, at Tremor for... A, a, a large advertiser, or is it uh, all kinds of advertisers? So th there are other networks and and sites that focus on the the smaller local advertisers. At Tremor, we focus almost only on the top advertisers. So all of our advertisers are Fortune 1000 advertisers. They're all advertisers that you would see on television. So we're taking, in many cases, their television creative. Their, five second or 10 second or predominantly the 15 and 30 second video ads and delivering that online. So the ones you'd see on television on a national basis are the advertisers that we have and we have a large majority of those. Hmm. And how do people buy this? Is this on an impression basis or how does that work? Depending on the format, so different formats whether it's video inside of a banner or video inside of a stream. It's primarily on a CPM but we also have some engagement and cost per click models that we can work with and we do that with video. At Trimmer we eliminate all serving fees all of our creatives are built in-house. If an advertiser so chooses, that's not that's free of charge as well. And so really it's a way for advertisers to spend large budgets online, and we're sort of the, the method for them to do that. We aggregate those buys and provide to them back a real-time report that shows them the performance of how their video campaigns did. Not just impressions and clicks, but also higher-level engagements like completion rates and interaction with the ad itself. Completion rates, uh, like say a click-through on the ad into their website and uh, filling out a form or something along those lines? So in the case of completion rate, I guess what I'm referring to is the, the percentage of viewers that view the entire ad mm. uh, as it pertains to a particular channel or a particular piece of content. We also do track the clicks, so the users that interact with the ad and choose to go back to the advertiser's web page. That's all tracked in real time. We provide that data intelligence back to the advertiser. Mm. And is this kind of a, a, a branding initiative, or is this a uh, uh, something that, that people are looking to do to get a specific uh, ROI on? Uh, how, do, how do your typical advertisers think of this? The majority of the advertisers are looking at a branding uh, impact, and so we do have advertisers that inherently have some sort of direct response metric. The completion rate is the one, or the, or the clicks back to their page is another, but it is a branding medium. You know, typically our advertisers are the large auto guys or the, or the CPG guys, and they do look for that brand impact versus judging a campaign based on just how many people bought as a result of a click at that very moment. Yeah, very interesting. It's exciting to watch this industry and see how it evolves. It reminds me of the early days of, of search uh, media and that sort of thing. So this is a really interesting thing. I appreciate your, uh, your time. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. So as you can see, there is a lot going on in the video media realm and if you are an advertiser and you are looking to get exposure in that space, 
consider coming over to Tremor Media and see if that might be an opportunity for you. All right, everybody, this is Sage Lewis from the Search Engine Strategies Conference in San Jose.